Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, I just thought I'd uh, do a quick video today on um, how to keep a, a safe copy of your existing Logic Pro X um, application. Uh, they've just brought out a new version, which is 10.5, which has a lot of uh, significant upgrades and changes in it. Um, and I'm always a little bit um, skeptical of those changes. Um, a bit wary because I've got you know thousands of, of projects uh, EXS24 sample instruments, stuff like that, which, um, as well as some Akai sort of that I've imported from Akai format, um, and I don't really want there to be any issues with those. Should I need some of those sampler uh, instruments to reopen for old older projects? So um, I'm going to keep a copy of it. Uh, I had the same as you can see here. I had the same issue with uh, when I went from 10.3.2, I went to 10.4.8, um, and I had some issues with the audio uh, lining up after recording. Um, I would just I would record and then as soon as I stop, it just moved the audio file just a little bit off for for no reason whatsoever. Not every time, but just occasionally. Um, so I kept a, a copy of ten three two uh, because it was running really well on my uh, my Mac Pro. Um, so here we go. Just going to explain this really quickly. Just um, so go to the latest one that you, the, the one that you wish to um, keep a copy of. Uh, control click on there and just hit duplicate, um, and that will basically create uh, another version or a copy of that version um, in your application folder. Uh, it's going to be a fairly big file. It's going to be a couple of gig and. And also you may want to just put a copy of that as well onto an external hard drive or a thumb drive. Um, if you're running with a couple of different systems, uh, you've always got that version ready to go if you need to open up something with it. Um, it's ex been extremely handy for me. Um, and, and personally, I wouldn't uh, upgrade to 10.5 unless I've made a copy like this. So once that finishes, it should be there soon. Um, might be a good time to maybe suggest if you haven't subscribed to subscribe to the channel uh, like this video um, there's more coming and I hope they're really helpful for you guys there it is it's just finished um, and just go in there and rename it uh, 10 4 8 or whatever version you're running there um, and that way when you do upgrade that'll be it'll be automatically um, that version 10.4.8 will become 10.5 and you've already got a copy of 10.4.8 should you need to go back. Awesome guys, um, have fun making music, cheers.